This is Blake with the Southern POV. I'm coming at you from the truck. I got the boat behind the truck, or at least I did a couple miles ago. But I'm um, headed to a little fishing. Um, I'm doing my favorite type of fishing. It's bass fishing, but not just the type of fish, but the way we do it. I'm going to be trolling shiners today. I got about 10, 12 inch shiners that I'm going to be trolling behind the boat. Um, it's one of my favorite ways of fishing. Usually I can catch a big fish that way when I can't catch them any other way. Right now my truck says 98 degrees. So we're going to wait till the last couple hours before dark. I got a buddy who's going to be meeting me up. Uh, I'm going to put the camera on him. When we get there, I'm going to get behind the camera. So uh, hopefully we'll catch some big fish today. A lot of people don't think you can fish with a shiner that size. And this is really a medium shiner. But the way I like to hook them up is on a cork about... I don't know, about two feet from a from a hook, no weights. Go from the bottom out the top, making sure not to hurt them or kill them in the process. And then these these shiners don't cast real well, so you kind of just ease them in the water and troll the boat along. But the uh, the biggest problem I see people have when it comes to fishing with shiners is when that cork goes under, they want to set the hook immediately, like you're fishing for like a pan fish or something with a cricket. But you want to let them have it, run with it for a, a good 30 seconds to make sure they get that shiner all the way down and then do a massive hook set. I like to use um, um, braided fishing line because it's strong, it doesn't flex, and it floats on top of the water. All right, reel down until it's tight. Go ahead and set the hook. Heck yeah. He ate both of our shiners. <laughs> We have a mess. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> the bass ate his shiner and my shiner. Didn't get my shiner back. Oh, that's all right. He uh, he took yours and mine. It's not a bad one. He's probably in that uh, two two and a half pound range. Yeah. Reel down to it till it gets tight. Till you feel it tight. Now snatch it. Here, pull it to the side, pull it to the side over here. Two, baby. I've already put my man on two, so here we go. Let me show you how it's done. It's pulling that line, get right here. He ain't, he ain't a big one, but he's a, uh, he's one nonetheless. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I barely got him in, barely got him in. There we and go. And the boat, it counts. There we go. That's uh look, see? I <laughs> just got him. A true sportsman would throw him back, but hey, in Georgia, this what they say, this will stink up some grease. This will stink up some grease. Alright, we're just leaving the pond. I don't know if you can tell, but I am soaked. When we got here it was 99 degrees, and then halfway through the fishing it started storming and lightning and pouring down rain. But hey, that's what happens when you're in Georgia. We ended up catching uh, three fish and breaking off on one or two. Um, some decent sized bass. I'm gonna take them home and uh, clean them up, which will be the next uh, part of this video series. So uh, until then, that was the uh, Southern POV fishing in Georgia with Shiners.